Hello, this is Craig, better known as the host of that one Let's Play channel that is occasionally a Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, that is occasionally some other types of channels that he's not even sure of. Recently, I have created a Discord server that is kind of meant to be a community for people to talk about video games and various other things, and we are a budding community that, for one thing, would love to have you on board if you would be interested. Right now, a lot of the more active members of the server are friends that I've made from other Yu-Gi-Oh! servers. And some new cards have come out in the form of Lightning Overdrive, and there has been one card in particular that I've had my eye on since it was first introduced in the OCG. And that card is Diviner of the Heralds. If we want the Yugi Tuber level details, it is a level two fairy light tuner monster that has the following effect. Upon a normal or special summon, this card can send a fairy from deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Then its level will increase equal to the level of the fairy that was sent to the graveyard. Then if it's tributed in any way, I can special summon a level two or lower light fairy from my hand or deck. And one of my main decks is a hybrid of Cyber Angels and Herald of Perfection, which focuses on ritual summoning a lot of level six monsters using a lot of level two monsters as combo starters and extenders. So I think you can see why I was hyped for this. So Luke, being the hilarious instigator that he is, decided, hey, we should each go in on a box and see if we can get you a diviner. And against my better judgment, I was like, okay, this is a good idea. And then I was like, wait a second, I have a server of nerds who'd probably love a pack opening. Let's make a thing out of this. So I decided to make my portion of the pack opening an open invitation for others to view on the server. And it was a lot of fun. Naturally, there were a lot of laughs, some hype, some disappointment. All that being said, I'd say don't expect something like this from me too often. Unless y'all want to send me booster boxes. This shit is expensive and I have a puppy to take care of. Leave me alone! Oh, one more thing. I think a couple times you'll hear me referred to as Wolfie because my Discord name is Wolfie Boy. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Enjoy the pack opening. And special shoutouts to Tom and Luke, along with Golem, Death, Happy, Bin, Duck, and Banana Jesus for dropping by. <laughs> Welcome back to Wolfpack Gaming. I'm Craig here with a bunch of people from the Di from the Wolfpack Gaming Discord server, and uh, we're doing something that is probably not going to happen very often. But it is a booster pack opening of Lightning Overdrive. I'm here. Let's go. So, God. Uh, so, so a little bit of a story as I open this up. Um, basically, I've been playing not Drytrons, but basically a Cyber Herald deck. For, for like the last three to four years or so. And when Diviner of the Heralds came out, I was like... When Diviner of the Heralds came out in the OCG, I was just like ecstatic. Because like, oh my god, I don't have to use Gale Dogra to search my freaking Herald of the Arclight anymore. Oh. Half a decade later, ha we still don't have it. Yep. And, uh, and now we do. And now we have Diviner of the Heralds here. Ooh, god, it's been so long since I've actually opened boosters. Now that Diviner of the Herald's here, a new deck called Drytrons has uh, just kind of intruded into that and made Diviner a uh, an actual like chase card. <laughs> but I want, but I want it for me. I want it for Cyber Heralds. Damn it! <laughs> and then, and then there's some there's some Drytron other stuff and a new archetype um, that we don't care about. We're literally just looking for Diviner. So. Pack one! You better sniff at least one of those Also, packs. for those watching this, Diviner, for those who don't know, secret rarity, very hard to pull. Let's get into it. Let's go. Pack number one. God, this feels so weird. Hold on, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a team... Wait, 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 wait before, we, before we start, pack. Wolfie, do you have sleeves? Please. Please. Uh, I do, I do have sleeves, although they're, they're not near me, but I can get them real quick. Um, but, uh, before, before I go into the actual cards, I'm just gonna pull Team Sam and just go... <laughs> Oh, yeah! <laughs> the right the smell of fresh yeah. cards. Yeah. All right, so we have Danmari at Ignister. I actually did kind of play with an at Ignister deck somewhat recently. S Force Dog Tag. Let's see, what is that? Beautiful. During your main phase, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters. Is there an S Force archetype? 
I think so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Starry Night Seal. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's the, uh, the Sayari uh, archetype. The what? The the archetype that they made around Sayaru. Sayaru? Yeah. Like... Uh, so, yeah. if you don't know, they're like the holy angels, and if you remember from the old game, from, you know, way back in the dawn of Yu-Gi-Oh!, there was that lovely pink dragon with 2,350 no, attack level I, 7. Uh, yes, uh, Sayaru, it, it has it has 2,500, actually. I have it. Yeah. Okay, I, very classical card. They gave it its own archetype of itself and holy angels, so it's a light f- dragon archetype that is specific countering dark decks. That's so silly. So here's that. It's very bad. It's awesome. We have DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Rip it and throw it out. They gave us the worst DD that they ever could have given us. The other OCG one that they're still holding on to would have been so much better. Excellent. Probably, yeah. Okay, and the first or the first rare is Pendra Sanction. Which I think this is like kind of okay, if I remember correctly. Is that a rank Hi. four? It is a rank four. Two level fours. Yeah, I think I, I got that too. Two level fours. You can detach a material from this card. If you have more cards in your extra deck than your opponents, apply these effects in sequence depending on the difference. Plus one, this card gains a thousand attack. Plus five, neither player can target this card with card effects until the end of your opponent's turn. Plus ten, banish one card your opponent controls. Plus fifteen, make your opponent's life points three thousand. This seems oh. okay. I, well, yeah. one of the ways that I saw to play this would probably be in a spam, like a danger uh, Gren Maju deck. So basically, spam two level fours, man eater bug, or whatever you need. Well, this is also clearly a, a, a pendulum. A million, it's, I mean. This is this is a pendulum card because if you're gonna have fifteen more cards in your extra deck than your opponent, really the only way to do that is if you're playing pendulum. Oh, is it fifteen more? I thought it was fifteen less. Hey, Warrox, let's go. <laughs> Ah, uh, the spell break, the back row. Ma- Mahmood. If you control no monsters or all Mahmood. monsters you control are warrior monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. If your earth warrior monster battles after damage calculation, you target one spell, to destroy it, then all war mount gain 200 attack. Great. Clock arc. Excellent. I have no idea what that is. I'm not going to... Oh, clock clock oh, arc. Awful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> war, war rock big blow. Uh, during, during the main phase, if a face-up war rock monster you control leaves the field by opponent's card effect, destroy up to two cards your opponent controls. You can only activate one war, war rock big blow per turn. That's not terrible. And I screams screams of the branded. Oh, they're branded. Only. If a fusion monster is sent to your graveyard this turn, special summon one of your fusion monsters. That's okay. All right, that's pack number one. As as we. As we get through the packs, they will they will get faster. They won't all take this long. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most of us have seen some sort of pack opening channel before. Yeah. Yes, and I'm pretty sure if I'm just correct me, am I wrong? I'm pretty sure each box has at least an ultra rare. I, I, be- I, I believe each box has a bunch of ultra rares and two secret rares, so we're still waiting on those. Uh, King Zero Maxwell sucks. Amazement special show. Our first amazement card. I have no idea what this archetype does, but it's new. Um, it your basically opponent... is a new equip archetype. They basically like to equip cards from the deck or, you know, on the field to the opponent's monster. They have different effects depending on who they are equipped to. So, for instance, uh, the amazing, like the uh, amazement time gazer, or whatever the hell it's called. You can, if you equip it onto your opponent, it becomes a rota for any amazement card. I and d- if you equip it to yourself, you can pop a back row. Oh, interesting. Um, I just realized there was a huge glare coming from the from the leftover booster pack. So, um, one curry way. Here's Linguribo. Target one link, one monster in either graveyard. Return to the extra deck or special summon it to its owner's field. You can only activate one one curry way per turn. That's actually, huh? That might go in my math mech deck. That's not too. Ter- that's not too terrible. Uh, Warwalk Generations. During the battle phase, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon one Warwalk monster from your deck, and if you activate this card during your opponent's turn, for the rest of this turn, while you control with a face-up special summon monster, your opponent's monsters cannot attack, except to attack that monster. Interesting. Uh, Lavalval X-Lord is my next rare. Trash. Such a trash sink- such a trash sink bro. The way the <laughs> tu- ever tuner been- and non-tuner fire. I am- I am not interested already. One tuner and one non-tuner fire. Excellent. Uh, one by one, send one monster from your hand field to the graveyard. Target one of your level one monsters, banish it in the graveyard. It's whatever. 
Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol. Hey, I, I don't have any Plunder Patrol Ooh. cards. Her Plunder yeah, Patrol that's is like... actually insane. It's a common two in this pack. This card basically extends even further into the Plunder Patrol deck and can just ex it basically just can break boards. It just help. It's just more support. All right, cool. Yeah, kind of like if I'm not super big on Plunder Patrol knowledge, but from what I understand, it's kind of like if you were to design a card to fix Plunder Patrol's issues, it would just be that. Yep, special summons itself too. Oh, sick. All right, cool. Um, Amaze Attraction, Rapid Raising, uh, Rapid Racing. Yeah, that likes to level modulate, and you can, depending on who it's equipped to, banish or change battle positions. Cool. And oh, and Fukubiki. <laughs> whatever yeah, this is, whatever it is, but it it also has it also has this Goblin Kid on it, and that's like a classic thing that Konami likes to do with a lot of their crappy common cards. Other school references that I don't get because I don't live in Japan. Uh, you know, I just remembered I, I'm supposed to put the uh, the rares over here, like the other cards that are actually valuable. So I guess uh, I guess I'll put that plunder control or plunder patrol one, and maybe, <laughs> maybe one. a common, but it's so good. Maybe one curry way. See what that happens with that. Just donate all your war rocks to Farfa. <laughs> yeah, because he purchased like 18 war rock mountains. <laughs> Or nah, something like that. It, I think he has like 34, 37 war rock. Now. Why does he have so many? It's a meme. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Third pack. Amazement special show. I think we saw this one already. One curry way. War rock generations. ZW Pegasus twin saber. The first negate utopias could ever receive. This card is basically yeah. non-activating uh, negation. It doesn't equip automatically. You have to special summon it first, then equip. But okay, yeah. solid. And the rare is it's a spell card, Zexel Construction. Ooh, Send me it. I want it. Uh, let's see. Reveal one card in your hand. If you do, add one of the following cards from your deck to your hand. Then shuffle the revealed card into the deck. ZWZS Zexel Spell Trap. Rank up magic. Rank down magic. For, mm, for excuse me. Doesn't understand this Utopia support basically searches out any of the armed sages or the new or any of the uh, normal rank up spells that came into the set. Kind of sucks that it's a minus one, but I guess that's I guess the card is important enough to do that. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it, if anything, I use it to bait out hand traps, and I just extend with Ananotopias. Ana cool. One by one, uh, another, another Black Eyes, and then I think some, some more copies. Pack number four. Like, that's never happened in a box. But... Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Uh -huh. Let me do this. I put the cards on the bird's tongue so it looks like he's eating it. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. By the way, I just found out this. I know this is kind of interrupting, but the, no, you're light good. Charmer, the light charmer um, situation, it has to be prismatic to be worth any value. If it's not prismatic, it's only like a buck. Yes, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, light, char light charmers aren't good. Um, all right. Another, another Pegasus Swin Saber. Terrors of the Underroot. Someone was talking about this. I forget who it was, but uh, basically you can target five of, I think, your opponent's banished and five cards in your opponent's graveyard. You basically just swap them. Oh. And five gets banished. It's and pots are bullshit. That's pretty silly. Spring Ann's Brothers. So Spring Ann's is another kind of silly archetype from what I can tell. Yeah, you basically just want three field spell. If you don't have field spell, you can't combo. Cool. Spruggins, you just make the big exes uh... and you hit the, like... Flash damage is a card effect. Judgment of the Branded. Target one level 8 or higher fusion monster you control. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls with an equal or higher attack than that monster during the end phase of this card in the graveyard because it was sent there to activate the effect of Fallen of Albaz this turn. Fallen yeah, of Albaz. Which, which one is that? Is that Dogmatica? Yeah, it's part of the Dogmatica yeah. archetype. You see, Dogmaticas are supposed to be like the Holy Church and then Fallen Albaz, it, which is part of the uh, bastard dragon fusion. He's okay. like Actually, one of is part of multiple archetypes. The, the card you're referencing right now is, des is a Despia card, which Fall of Valbaz also works with. Uh -huh. Fall of Valbaz is basically Super Poly on an effect monster. 
pretty much, yeah. Okay, so I, so we're at four. So this is the this is the rare now. We have Ida the Sun Magician. I, I don't I don't know what this is. If this card is normal summon or flip face up, you can special summon one spellcaster monster with fifteen hundred defense from your hand or deck in face down defense position. Except Ida the Sun Magician. During your opponent's main phase, you can change one face down spellcaster monster you control to face up attack or defense position. You can only use each effect of Ida the Sun Is this like a is this like a subtle sub terror card? It's not subtle sub terror. It's actually supposed to be subtle charmer support. So if you know charmers, oh god, uh, it's it's supposed to set the little charmers, the level threes, and it's supposed to help you be like you know the snatch steal your opponent's stuff during their main phase. Okay, uh, ZS Armed Sage is my next card. Yeah, if you exceed that onto a Utopia, it allows you to search for any of the ZWs and put them into the hand. Okay. And it will, and it will count as Utopia's. Effect. Oh, check it out! We got the we got the Guardian Sphinx remake or whatever. Pharaonic. Nice. I got th I got three of those myself. Pharaonic awesome. oh, Guardian yeah. Sphinx. I I looked this up. I think it's like worse than the original. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If this card is flip summoned, shuffle all monsters your your opponent controls into the deck. If this card in its owner's control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can special summon one level 5 rock monster from your hand or deck and face down defense position. So this, I mean, on paper it's better, but it's level 8. <laughs> and yeah, it, and that's it like, the problem. It's a higher level, and I think the other one bounced to the hand instead of the deck. Yes. Um, Hidden Springs of the Far East. It's a, it's a field spell. Once per turn during the main phase two, the turn player can activate this effect. They gain 500 until the end of this turn. The normal and special summons of their monsters cannot be negated. If they activate a spell, if they activate a spell or trap card that includes an effect that special summons a monster, that activation cannot be negated. Their opponent cannot target set spell spells or traps they control card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by their opponent's card effects. So this would be this would be infinitely better if it included main phase one. Because it's like, this doesn't do anything on turn one. Welcome to the crappy support. Uh, and then, a maze yeah, attraction I, I Wonder Wheel. One is like, yeah, that last one is kind of like borderline broken if it's main phase one. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 would, it would be broken. But, sin but since it's not, it basically doesn't really do too much. I guess, I yeah, guess the, no, it's, it's terrible otherwise. I guess it's a good going second card, at least. Um... In any case, oh right, they go here. In, in, into Rowlet's mouth. Uh, I, I've lost count. How many packs are we at? I think we're at five. Five. Okay. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So this th this is six. This is six now. Oh okay. There's like twelve packs in a box, right? There's twenty four. Oh, oh, I'll keep some popcorn then. <laughs> I actually have the thing of bacon in front of me right now. I so a quarter waypoint. Um, so uh, over under on how long it takes me to pull a scrap raptor because <laughs> I haven't pulled one yet. <laughs> Terrors of the Underroot, Spring Ann's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, S Force Dog Tag. We have our first ultra rare in Amazement Attendant Comica. Right, great card. It basically can like set um, ama all the uh, it can set any of the Amazement trap. Or, yeah, any of the Amazement Traps from the deck, or I think equip them onto the opponent on Normal Summon. And then you can also choose, I think it's like a quick effect, where you can choose to change uh, of what the trap card is equipped to, like the opponent or you. Okay. Oh, and it's yeah, actually it's worth a little bit of cap. Not much. It's worth like a little bit. It's like two fifty. dollars It's not bad. $2.50. Let's go! $2.50 recouped! Is he, gonna pop it? Is he going to pop it off this set? Most I, likely not. But let's I'm, continue. I'm, I'm only, I'm only like sixty nine dollars in debt now. Let's go. I mean, if you're with Yu-Gi-Oh, you're, 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 you're in the wrong business. Yeah. I'm, oh my god. ZS Arm Sage. Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx number two. Hidden Springs of the Far East and a Maze Attraction Wonder Wheel. I am back now. In, All I know I, is that no one plays how, Wonder Wheel. How's it going, Happy? Sure Alright, I had to read the instruction for the instant pop because the it, I don't understand how it works. You had to read instructions. You had to read instructions on how to make popcorn. 
No, the inst. Do you know what an instant pot is? In oh, instant pot. I thought you said instant pop. <laughs> no. Yeah, insta pop. There we go. <laughs> no, there you go. So you don't have to hit start, and I can't just not hit start. I can't leave it. It's just. Oh yeah, that that is pretty weird. Doesn't feel right. S it's so weird. On to pack seven. S force dog tag. Yum mori mori. Whatever the hell this is. Banish this card from your graveyard, target a reptile monster you control, and one face-up monster your opponent controls to activate one of these effects. Change those monsters to face-down defense. Destroy that monster you control, and if you do, change the attack of the other monster to zero until the end of the turn. Alright, that sounds... This sounds like it should be a quick effect, if I'm being completely honest. It's yeah, just... I know that would. Yeah, it's just I, 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 like, I, I feel like this would be so much better if it was a quick effect. I feel like I would Oh, Sky Scourge! Let's go! Old archetypes! Ooh, oh, nice! Yeah. Sky Scourge Sidels. I didn't even know that there were Sky Scourge cards in this. Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind of weird. Sure it's just the one. Um, hmm. Cannot be special summoned. This card is tribute summoned by tributing one of the following monsters in the field. You can apply that effect. Light Fairy, add one Light Fairy or one Dark Fiend monster from your deck to your hand. And a Dark Fiend, send one Light Fairy monster and or one Dark Fiend monster from your deck to the graveyard. Interesting. Probably not going to see a lot of play. Zexal Alliance. This seems like a Utopia support thing. It's really like last ditch effort where I think it allows you to exceed summon, but you lower your life points to like one. Face up Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect. Pay, left, pay life points so that you only have ten left. Special yeah. summon one Utopia monster from your graveyard. If you do, that take one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. That special summon monster's attack becomes doubled. Also, it cannot be destroyed by battle except with a battle with a number monster nor by card effects. Damn. That card makes it possible to get to exactly one life point. That card is so good. Does it? That, that because card you can I, pay down to it's, ten. That card's a I little. Mean, it's that card is an eh to me because one, it's a battle trap. Two, um. It, lowering your life points to ten is so risky. It's not necessarily uh, a battle trap. It can it can respond to a, a being destroyed by opponent's card effect too. Yeah, I guess that's also true. But it it's not. It, I honestly would only play it at one. That sounds like, like a good way to lose to prank kids by them just like linking off uh, flamesies. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Mm. So so wait, how how do we get to one from this? Do we do we just like keep oh, having our life you points? You there, right? I and mean, then, you could just use Utopia Prime and just lower it all the way. <laughs> you could, you could go to ten, and then Utopia you can play and half of exactly. your life points over and over. Oh jeez! All right, and the rare yeah. is Supreme right, so like Supreme Sovereign, Sovereign Serpent of Golgonda. See, that's where you rip the card in half and say goodbye. While Great Sand Sea Gold Golgonda is on the field, this card's original attack becomes 3,000. You can only use each of the following effects of Supreme Sovereign once per turn. While this card's in your hand or graveyard, if you control a face-up card in your field zone, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. If Great uh, would be destroyed by a card effect, you could banish one... That's not terrible. Yeah. This card's in your hand, you can special summon this card, but banish it when... I mean, it special, it's special summons itself, it's... Probably it's it's a it's a good extender if anything. Um, I feel like I only play that in my Gokis. Yeah. You I mean. Extenders and Gokis. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know what I don't know what I would play it in, but it's it's a good potential extender. Uh, what's nineteen cents, boys? It's nineteen cents. Nineteen cents, excellent. World Soul Carbon. You can tribute this normal summon or set card. Add one Earth Fairy monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, except World Soul Carbon. If a face-up fairy monster you control sent to the graveyard, while well, this card's in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can place this card on top of your deck. You can only use one World Soul Carbon effect per turn, and only once that turn. Uh, this, mean, this, this, seem, like this seems slow. <laughs> it's a searcher for my no materials. Let's go. Let's go! No material! <laughs> no material. Uh, it's specifically, uh, that it's card specifically that you have right there is three of in every Rose Dragon deck. That's a three of in every Rose Dragon Basil deck. Rose so Shoot? Good. Special Summon 1, oh. or Basil? Basil? Special Summon 1 Rose Dragon monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. If this card is destroyed, you can target one of your Black Rose Dragon or one monster that's specifically listed 
it, that card in its text says Banisher in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use each effect of Basil Rose shoot once per turn. Interesting. That doesn't insanely symmetrical. Yeah, that, uh, that's that's pretty good. Spring Ann's booty. Spring Ann's booty. Don't tell me that's what's a good card. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm <clears throat> I'm not sure if I really want to read it. And oh hey, you you and you and AI. Funny, I got so many AI cards. This is like what your second. Uh yeah yeah actually it's uh oh no I'm, I mean, I'm, I don't gonna be good, so. I don't. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I got the uh, I got the um, the one at Ignister you want to have engrave. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that was uh, not super great. I think I uh, pack number eight, I believe. Something like that. Okay, Yamori Mori. To start things off. Sky Scourge, Sidels, Zexal Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare. Once per turn, if this card would be destroyed by battle, you can banish one trap from your graveyard instead. You can banish up to three traps. Apply this effect based on the number banished. One, draw one card, then place one card from your hand atop the deck. Two, draw one card. Three, draw two cards, then discard one card. Okay. Um, seems pretty bad. What's that card? A Dark Eye Nightmare. Dark Eye Nightmare. I don't know that card. I don't think I don't think, I don't think many people too. So. And the super rare is Amazement Precious Park. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> is it, doesn't it look like a map, right? Uh yes, it's the it's the Amazement Field spell. So Man. uh yeah. It's like it's not great. During your great. during your main phase you can activate one attraction trap the turn it was set. During the end phase you can send one attraction trap you control equipped uh, to a monster to the graveyard, then target one of your attraction traps with a different name that is banished or in your graveyard. Set that card. You can only use each effect of Amazement Precious Park once per turn. Um, I mean, you know, activating a trap card the turn it's set, that's pretty cool. I mean, it, I don't know why you're activating traps the turn. Like, why are you going second with Amazement? Well, I think, I think that's part, I think that's part of it. You if you're if you're gonna activate a trap card the turn it's set, then you wanna be able to go first. So you could do that. This is where right. I use what I What? No. <laughs> what was, what was that? Have, you don't want to activate any of the amazement traps the turn they're set. Oh. They're all like all the good ones are disruption. Oh. Uh, or there's the one that searches an amazement, I guess. No. Nah. The uh, coaster. Uh then we have World Soul Carbon, Basil Rose Shoot, Spring Ann's Booty, and you and I. So that goes here. Rest go here. Oh God! Who who played Triff? <laughs> hey, I tried to go. I tried to just go to the intro. So when it find, so when you finally pull it, I'm gonna pull it. I don't even know what pack we're at. Pack nine. Oh damn! I don't mm -hmm. oh. I don't know if you'll remember. By the way, at this point, what was that? Uh, that Earth Fairy card thing? The the World Soul Carbon. This one. Okay. I'm, World Soul Carbon. Thank you. Earth Fairy yep. Jank. Very curious about that. Okay, another Dark Eye Nightmare to start things off. War Rock Generations. Oh yeah, there are Bujins. There's Bujin stuff here. Bujin candescence. Candescence. Bujin candescence. Bujin candescency. Um, I believe it's candescence, but is, remember when we is it candescence? Overpowered floodgates at three because Cleefort didn't exist yet. Oh, <laughs> Cleeforts. Uh, LOL, Adam. If he sees this, um, Beast Warrior. Blame Can we get Harbinger, Harbinger back? Bujin. Uh, Beast Warrior Bujin monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, except during the battle phase. Once per turn, you can send one Bujin monster from your hand or face-up field to the graveyard and target one face-up card your opponent controls, negate its effect until the end of this turn. During your end phase, you can send this face-up card from the field to the graveyard, then target one Bujin monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Um... Oh yeah, isn't that like the good stuff that Bujin's got? Yeah, it's... 
it see, it seems pretty good. I think the most notable Bujin cards in the set was one of the level fours that extend and its new Xyz. Well, it's during the end phase you get the special summon, so it's it's not quite as good as it could be. I mean, you can summon your mods. Oh, it's probably not the one I'm thinking. Of. Um, summoning Yamato is pretty good, though. That's, um, like, the whole thing. Amaze Attra Oh, yeah, that's right. Yamato is, like, the important one. <laughs> Amaze Attraction Majestic Merry-Go-Round. Target one amazement monster you control or one face-up monster your opponent controls. Equip this card to it. You can apply the following effect based on which player controls the equipped monster. If you control the, the equipped monster, gains 500. If it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you could send this card to the graveyard instead. If it's your opponent, the equipped monster loses 500 attack for each of your attraction traps equipped to a monster. You can only use... That's, that's not good. Yeah, and that's we have our first secret rare. It's <laughs> War Rock Media Dragon. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Shout out to Farfa. Burr, 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 burr. Farfa called it a mommy milker. Let's go. Oh god, War Rocks. I pulled this before I pulled Scrap Raptor. God. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm curious about War Rocks. Now, now we All know you why need Scrap to know Raptor is the battle play. phase. Oh god. Why does Konami want me to play War Rocks? Well, I got that good phase. news for you. I got some good news for you. Wolfie. But we're, we're oh, look, monarchs support. support after the common just so that they could make it like rarer than the secret rares. <laughs> I, I, I got the good news for you, Wolfie. This is one of the secret rares that's worth a whole two dollars and fifty five cents. Hooray! I'm Whoa. so happy. <laughs> Oh my happening. god, guys, he's, he, he went down like st like another two, three dollars. Let's go. Uh, Battle phase is true. Yep, all right. Uh, Ancha so Mufrit, I don't even know. Uh, Amazement that's Ambassador, it, what, this is this is good? The pendulum uh, that's yeah. like Monarch support because it can, one, it special summons itself, so tribute fodder, two, it can destroy itself in the uh, in the extra deck zone, so you can still do your extra deck shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, can I yeah, special, you, have no, you can only special summon uh, this gate. This face up card in the monster zone leaves the field, banish it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. It's, a, it's an amazement monster. That's, like, not the other one that I got. Is it the bear? It's the bear. Yeah. The bear's the worst one. Excellent. Not even gonna read to it. Zexel and Trust. Oh, I love this card. Basically, uh, it revives any Utopia or ZS monster from the uh, graveyard, and if your life points are low enough, I think 2,000 lower, uh, then on your next turn, you can banish it to draw a card. Huh, that's not terrible. Okay. Um, and then, oh, a Link Monster. Uh, Binary Blader takes two normal monsters. This card gains these effects based on the number of monsters co-linked to this card. Uh, one, when this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect. This card makes a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Also, this card battles an opponent's monster this turn. That opponent's monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. And then two, after damage calculation of this card battle an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster. Interesting. Okay. It's actually pretty good in ten years. Yeah, it's uh. Even targeting banishing twice well, it's, per turn removal. Well, it's two. To, like, it's two it. normal monsters. Tenies aren't normal monsters. They're just like non-effect link monsters, right? If you summon the tokens. Oh, uh, okay. Then yeah, not not terrible. Man, oh. it's four. I play it in Cradle. All right. Uh. <laughs> Pack. Oh, this is this is pack nine. I've because I have three more packs on this side. Um. How is it only four? the binary blader is a whole four cents? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 a, it's a Wait, common card. The, you you give common secret force uh, field spell going at because that field spell is actually broken. That field spell is only sixteen cents. Yeah, Solid. Yes, uh, really good. All right, we have a War Rock Generations, Bujin Incandescence, a Maze Attraction, Majestic Merry Go Round, Otoshi Damashi, Otoshi Damashi, Otoshi Damashi. Oh my God! I'm so oh wait a second, it's it's a tuner, it's a tuner. This guy, this could be good. Well, you control oh, Hulk, Hulk. Ha yeah, it's it's Hulk support. <laughs> Every tuner is Hulk support. <laughs> 
Every level three or lower tuner. Uh, when you can when you control a monster that is not a tuner, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. If a monster is sent from the field to your opponent's graveyard, place one Otoshi Damashi counter on this card, and special summon Otoshi Damashi tokens. Uh, with question, attack, and defense, up to the number of Otoshi Damashi counters on this card. Each token's level is increased when summoned by the number of Otoshi Damashi counters on this card. Also, each token's attack and defense are its level when summoned times 500. You can only use... Okay, hard ones per turn. Uh, yeah, it, it seems a little convoluted. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but... But I, uh... I like the name. <laughs> Yeah, it's worth two cents. X, great. Eight, I mean, that oh, look! Really it's good. more War Rocks! <laughs> yeah! Poggers. War Rock <laughs> Spirit. God. Go. This set sucks. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? Because it has your favorite card. Because, because I mean, you, you saw the Diviner Herald, like, you, you could still like, pull the Diviner yes, and only nice. waste like that. Like fifteen dollars or whatever. If if I if I pull if I pull diviner, it'll all be worth it. But right now it sucks. I also actually it won't because you could have just bought more diviner like singles for less. Uh, diviner's like seventy bucks right now. I'm is not... it actually? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I it was like fifteen dollars. It's seventy bucks. Damn. All right. Um. Okay, but yeah. Um. Warrock Spirit. Great. Uh. Ansha Mafrit. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Zexel and Trust. Binary Blader. Great. Unfortunate. Pack number ten. Still no scrap raptor. <laughs> I think Tom's gonna cry. I'm I, I, like I said, my my Dano build as it currently stands. I have three panks when I'm allowed one. I have three misks when I'm allowed one. Get me a scrap raptor. I'm trying, man. Yeah. We have we have Otoshi Damashi number two. <laughs> Yeah, you might not get a Masu. Up, but you can play with Toshi Damashi. Um, it summons tokens. You can play Binary Blader. That's true. A synergy. Pa Paleozoic Cambro Ca Cambro Raster. Oh, I forgot that. I don't think. It takes. It takes two. It's a holiday in Paleozoic Cambodia. <laughs> it it takes two Paleozoic monsters unaffected by monsters effects. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can only like use you can only use each of the following effects of Paleozoic Cambro Raster once per turn. You can target one set card in the spell and trap zone, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, set one Paleozoic trap directly from your deck. It can be activated this turn. If a set card you Ooh, control would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard instead. That's that's not bad actually. That's not that's pretty that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty solid. solid. That's pretty well, good like Paleozoic that. support. No, it's link one or two, I think so. It's link two. That's okay. That's not. It's like it, like it's. If it, it was a link one, that would be insane. Like it's, 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 it's link two. like it's not wonderful, but it's it's decent. It's fine. I mean, link. you go like it's worth like only six cents. That makes me sad. You're gonna find that with a lot of these commons, Golem. I promise you. Um. <laughs> The Paleo Link is actually pretty decent because you can use you can go into Security Dragon, then the Paleo Link uh, pop a card with Security Dragon, then pop one of your own Paleos or an opponent's spell and trap, and then go into Avermax. Listen, oh, oh interesting. I guess. Hmm. Listen, just play freaking Toad Control Whoopie. It's the easiest deck to probably to make. Oh, of course. Uh, the easiest the deck easiest is War Rocks, bro. Though. Yeah, the, right now, right now, Konami is just screaming at me to play War Rock. So, <laughs> sorry, Night Seal. AI challenge you. We have another card that I don't think any AI person plays, and the rare is yeah, Spring Ends Merrymaker. Oh, that's nice. good. Isn't it? If this yeah, card is, good. if this card is special Honestly, summoned from your extra really deck, you. If this card is special summoned from your extra deck, you could send one Spring Ends monster from your deck to the graveyard. During your opponent's main or battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card until the end phase, and if you banish this card with two or more Ixies materials, you can also send a fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that lists Fallen of Albaz as material. You can only use effect, each effect of Spring Ends Merrymaker once per turn. Interesting. I mean, it searches Ecclesia. Uh yeah, so it's it's good in uh it's good in Dogmatica. Birth of the Prominence Flame is my next card. Target two fire monsters. Great. Hidden Springs of the Far East. Judge of the Ice Barrier. 
New yeah, that card sucks. New Ice Barrier and a, and a Synchro in the form of Star Mine. Uh, you can only special summon Star Mine once per turn. If this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect, take 2,000 damage, then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. If monster within this card's adjacent zone is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect, destroy this card. And if you do take 2,000 damage, then inflict 2,000... What the fuck? Alright, so it's just... Take two thousand. So so it's just take two thousand the card. Excellent. Oh. Still no scrap raptor, by the way. Oh god. How many packs are we in my dog? Uh this is pack number eleven. Yeah, I was about to say that's eleven. Um, ice barriers are so funny though. You get the <laughs> stupidest lockout effects. Like <laughs> When this monster is normal summon, skip your opponent's next standby phase or something stupid. Oh, God. Your monster can only summon in defense. Also, your opponent cannot change <laughs> battle positions. Have fun. Oh jeez. We have we have the link to Paleo. Starry Night Seal. Yeah. AI challenge you. Hey! hey! We did it! <laughs> we pulled a scrap raptor! Let me there we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> you know what set is bad when like you're cheering over pulling a common. Yep. And you're eleven packs in. <laughs> one of the best, the one of the best commons and hardest commons that he could ever pull. Yep. All right. Let's see what it is. It's an Ixie. Ultimate Dragon. Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. That's the good one. That's actually the good one. This is a good one. That's the super card. Yeah. Let's see. I, th I, I think I've actually seen this. Uh, so once per basically... oh sorry, if you want. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets this card, or when this card is targeted for an attack, quick effect, you can equip one ZW monster from your hand or deck to this card, as if it were equipped by that monster's effect. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card, then target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Z. W monster cards equipped to this card and negate their effects. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that does the, that does seem pretty good. Also, by it's the, the way, Utopia boss monster. For basically. those who are you know watching Konami and seeing what they're pre-releasing, the the Utopia structure deck. If anyone paid attention to that, gave support to number monsters. If you pay attention to this one, it says it's considered number uh, C thirty nine. I think it does say that. Yes, number C thirty nine Utopia Ray. That was on purpose. That was to prep it for the next support that's coming out, along with the fact that this card basically is one of those, like, target with anything. So if you t you can target with your own Zexal weapons, and you can just slap another one from Woo! deck onto it. So more protection, negation. Look at how cetera. shiny that is. It's so shiny. You just make it like, very shiny. untargetable, has a trillion attack. All right. Birth of the Prominence Flame. Oh, shit. Uh, Birth of the Prominence Flame. Hidden Springs of the Far East. Judge of the Ice Barrier and Star Mine. Is it just me, or did the last pack have these exact four cards right after the rare? I'm pretty. Trust me, you experienced this a lot. I experienced this opening uh, Tin of Lost Memories, and I got really pissed. That's super weird. I feel like that's not even the first time that's happened. Nope, that is the third. Uh, no, that's how bad Yu Gi Oh packs are, like sorted. It makes me sad. Okay, uh, put that the there. Put that there. Ra Ra Rallet, how you doing? You getting full? Rallet's getting real full. Rallet is never full. <laughs> Rallet is never satisfied. Rallet. Rallet. Rallet is never satisfied. Alright, this 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 uh pack closes out the first half, so let's see. Hey! Well, that's it, I gotta play it again. Off the top! Second Scrap Raptor! <laughs> Uh... <laughs> oh, boo boo game! I heard about this. Oh my god, I fucking hate whoever printed that. That was so dumb. I hate whoever you are because you sat at that table and said this is okay. During damage calculation, if a monster battles, you take no dam battle damage from that battle. If this set card and its owner's control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target up to two normal traps in your graveyard, except Boo Boo Game. Set them to your field. They can be activated this turn. You can only use this effect of Boo Boo Game once per turn. I feel like it only works in s in some decks, but like, 
Oh god. I've used it, I've used it for Yajiro. I've used it for Yajiro the Invader. Uh, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen. I saw Farfa's uh, table five hundred where someone basically he's used coming. that. Yeah, where um someone yep, used this coming. to to basically facilitate a Venominaga FTK. So pretty crazy. He's coming. Um, so we have the Scrap Raptor here. Oh, did I put the other? Hold on, Scrap Raptor going there. There we go. Uh, Booba game. That's going there. Sun Avalon Daphne. Nice. So we have a we have a plant link two that takes two plants. This card cannot be targeted for attacks, but does not prevent your opponent from attacking you directly. So that's the the weird legendary fisherman clause. Um, you contribute one monster, then target two plant link monsters in your graveyard, except Sun Avalon Daphne. Return them to the extra deck. You can only use th that. Seems bad. That seems very bad. It is bad. But it's Preta Plant support, so let's. Go. It's not. I don't know if they're actually. Is it? it? It's it's Sun Avalon, <laughs> so I think it's part of the Sun Avalon archetype. Oh, that's an archetype. Oh. Yeah. Um, Dark Eye Nightmare, and Thron the Disciplined Angel. What? Oh, that is very disciplined. Whatever that is, if a monster that was originally an Earth Fairy is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard. Except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use this effect of Thrun the Disciplined Angel once per turn. So it's bad. Uh, it, this yeah, it's, uh... This is Konami releasing their masochist side. It's... So it, it kind of goes with that one Earth Fairy from before, because I, th I think that had some sort of effect upon being tributed. Right? Oh, the... well, actually, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Earth Fairy. Yeah. Let me see. Which, which card was that? Tom was asking about it before. It's... Yeah, you should go to oh, local. Was, uh, the thing you said. Uh, Wor yeah, World uh, Soul Carbon. Uh, World, yeah, World Soul. That was, I thought Creator, but no, that's the uh, that's a separate thing. Yeah, so that's... Uh, the intention is pretty clear there. The um, synergy is real. Bu Bujin, Bujin Mahitotsu. Uh, there we send, go. send a Bujin card from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. Activate one of these effects. Send Bujin, send one Bujin monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add a Bujin monster with a different name from your graveyard to your hand. Yamato Searcher. Uh, banish one Bujin monster from your graveyard. Send one Bujin monster with a different name from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. A great card. Honestly, great. It's a, it's a special summonable Yamato Searcher, basically. So that's not too bad, actually, for that deck. Oh. Um... I'll put that there. Sunvine Crossbreed. Tribute a Link Monster. The target of uh, one other plant monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but negate its effects. You can only use this effect of Sunvine Crossbreed once per turn. Cool. Fuku Fukubiki! And third copy of Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's the, that's the three copies we were hoping for. Alright, halfway through. Living on a prayer. Halfway there. That was the actual lyrics. I apologize to any Bon Jovi fans listening to this. Oh, living on a prayer. Uh, so I, I actually messed up the um, <laughs> I, I messed up pulling the cards out of the pack. So these may, these may actually be out of order. But oh shit! Oh, look at it! Look at it! Da 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 da! Let's go! Let's go! Was that three packs That's in a row? Right. Was that three Nine packs in a row. row? Nine in a row. That's pretty sick. Oh, it wasn't in a row? Nah, it was not in a row, sadly. Okay. Uh, we got a second copy of Booba Game. And he provides three Scrap Raptor. Sun Avalon, Daphne. Oh, okay. We have the, uh, we have the Rocks Rose oh, Dragon. Searcher for the other amazing spell, by the way. Okay, that's pretty sick. Yeah, should be able to special summon itself too, so that's pog. Okay, AI challenge you. ZS Armed Sage, Birth of the Prominence Flame, one by one. Spring Ann's booty. Cool. Pack. Okay, Wolfie. What you need to do is draw 70 more Scrap Raptor and you'll make you breathe. If you pull one more Scrap Raptor, you have two play sets. And you, you only play one. two. You only play, if you play you only play two? Interesting. Yeah, because it, you don't need to play more than two. Okay. Well, in Dino, 
Oh, okay. He's it. coming off of um, baby. If you get three play sets of Scrap Raptor, I'm just gonna have an entire Triv Gaming video go through. <laughs> Just just ha just minutes, just loop Triff. Ten minutes of Triff screaming. Just loop Triff saying, "Let's go." Yeah. <laughs> just ten yes. minutes of Triff screaming completely. Uh, I'll find the Pogger Yeptix Yeptix thing. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. To to make fun of Farfa. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Yeah. Um. Ooh. Hello. Dogmatica ritual. What the hell? Yeah, you didn't know dog yet. Yeah, remember, I I showed yeah. you the ritual monster. You did. Okay. Cool. The ritual monster is pretty good. ZW Pegasus Twin Saber AI challenge you. Camber Raster. Oh God. War Rock Wento. Let's yeah. go War Rocks. I hate wait, everything. Wait, wait. When when is the War Rock deck profile coming out? Uh, never. Mm -hmm. Anyway, War up. <laughs> Taste. Stop it, Konami! I don't want to play War Rocks! Ansham Afrit, War Rock Mamu Oh my god. <laughs> Amaze Attraction Ra Great! <sighs> Alright, next. Pack yeah, number I 15! Well, if you pull another secret, another War Rock card, will you play War Rock? Uh, I, 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 yeah, I guess I, uh, I guess I should. I'll, I'll play it, I'll play it in our 08 server and I'll lose horribly. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's the video, by the way, Windhex. Yep. No, our lock monarch versus Warrock. Dark Eye Nightmare. Bujin Candescence. Zexal Alliance. Hey, I meet you! Hey, it's the Searcher. It's good. Hey. Got the good hey. Yeah, I got, I got... That's pretty good. This is a Link Monster. Tribe Brigade Bear Brum. Oh, I pulled Bear Brum! Oh, there you go. Sick! Alright. No. Every I pure want Tri Brigade man is so jealous. Sweet! Alright, two Tri Brigade monsters. You can discard two cards and target one of your banished level 4 or lower beast, beast warrior, or wing beast monsters. Special summon it. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Tri Brigade spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except Tri Brigade monsters. You can only use each effect of Tri Brigade Bear Brum, the Rampart Rampager, once per turn. So this is the... Um, Tri Brigade Revolt Searcher, basically, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah. would say Revolt Searcher. It's more like the one that can recur it. So after you use it, you can bring it back with it. Along oh. with the set up with extenders. Well, uh, I mean, Foolish Burial Goods is a thing, so LOL. Uh, no. I, don't, I don't know who's playing yeah. Foolish Burial. I don't know who's playing Foolish Burial Goods in um in Tri Brigade, but hey, there you, there you is always kit. that. Just use kit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I honestly didn't know. War Rock Big yeah, Blow. And Shamu Fritz. I guess Konami wants me to play uh, uh, friggin' Monarch. Monarchs too. And War Rock Mahmood. Amaze Attraction Rapid Maze. Racing. Great. Pack 16, I believe. Oh, God. This is looking bad. It's fine. I haven't, pulled, I haven't pulled the other secret rare. Diviner is not out of the question yet. Watch this second secret rare be another War Rock. No, nah, you know what? You could still pull the Viner Copium. <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. It's it's fine. We have DDD Super Sight Maxwell, whatever. Otoshi Damashi! The playset! Yeah! yeah. Amaze Attraction Majestic yeah. Merry Go Round. S Force Dog Tag. And War Rock Spirit! Hooray! I pulled two. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Basil. Basil. Will you call this pog? Oh, God. Basil Rose Shoot. Uh, the Plunder Patrol thing, Amaze Attraction Wonder Wheel, you and I. Sweet. Cool. You and I. There's a, if I remember correctly, there's a pretty good Yes song called And You and I. For those of you who listen Probably. to Yes. It's a prog rock band from the 70s. I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm not like 60 years old. <laughs> Mm, debatable. He's Everyone voting on his sus. <laughs> Lies. Amazement special show. Fourth scrap raptor. Let's go. That's it. Woo! War Rock Generations. Hey, third boo boo game. Hey. And 
War Rock Dignity. Konami's shoving yeah, yeah. War Rocks down my fucking throat. Yeah, that's an ultra rare, oh, man. Yep. Awesome kick him in the shin. Excellent. Uh, it, you you must control a War Rock monster to activate either of these effects. When a monster your opponent controls activates this effect, negate that effect. During the battle phase, when your opponent activates the spell or trap card, a monster effect negate that effect. Okay, that's... Oh, during the battle. Oh my god, are you kidding me? All right. <laughs> the one thing you ever need to know about War Rocks. Battle phase. What War Rock cards say during the battle? So, so, so it's basically it's basically worse imperm for War Rocks. Yes. Yep. Sick. Anyway, um, Basil Rose shoot, Black Eyes Plunder Control, pl Plunder Patrol. Sorry, uh, Maze Attraction Wonder Wheel. You and I. I think I've pulled like six copies of this now. All right, pack number whatever the fuck. Okay. Seventeen, maybe. Probably. Pretty sure it's seventeen. The I lost count after the fourth All right. One Curry Way. Dark Eye Nightmare. Terrors of the Underroot. Spring Ann's Brothers. Stay Sailor Romarin. Romarin. Oh, that's actually that's Let's decent. Go. That's actually really good plant support. It's a plant. Quick effect. Target a... one face up monster you control. Send another plant monster you control to the graveyard. If you do, the next time this targeted monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect. It is not destroyed. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send one level five or lower plant monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. All right, that's not terrible. It's pretty good. It's really good. It sets up way too many plays. Hidden Springs, Frontic Guardian Sphinx, ZS Arm Sage, you and I. Sweet. All right. I get. Still no second seeker rare yet. Diviner is still possible. Copium. We have the Dogmatica Ritual. Dogmatica Lamity. Okay. ZW Pegasus Twin Chamber. Twin Saber. AI Challenge You. Paleozoic. Oh! This is pretty good. Oh, he Boy. got the. Oh, nice. He got the Field Spell Searcher. Yeah! Let's go. Dark Infant at Ignister. One non-link at Ignister monster. If this card is link summoned, you can add one Ignister AI land from your deck to your hand. When a Cybers monster with 2300 original attack activates its effect, quick effect, you can move this card to your main monster zone. This card points to, then you can change it to any attribute until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect of Dark Infant at Ignister once per turn. Sick pull. Mm, nice. It is it is very good. It is very good in at Ignister and nothing else, basically. But okay, I guess yeah. but, you're playing yep. an Agnister deck, you know it. Uh, I mean, I could. It's not. Yeah, it's not entirely out of the question. No, I mean, in complete fairness, there's a one card combo to get to Arrival. So. Yep, and the Quantum Dragon. So. Yeah. So. It's, and, yeah. It's pretty okay. good. Um. So we have Hidden Springs, Front of Guardian Sphinx, ZS Arm Sage, you and I. Come on. Get, get Starlight Rare, like, Black Rose Dragon. Come that on, that dude. that would be insane. Like, I probably would be more hyped for that than uh, than if I got Diviner, if I'm being completely honest. We finally, we pulled another, we pulled another uh, Dan Maria at Ignister. Sky, nice. Sky Scourge, Sidels, Dogmatic Calamity, I Meet You, sweet. And, and my other Seeker Rare, Bengalancer the Resurgent. So no diviner, I guess. Unfortunate. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, two plants. Should I still? Should I still do it? Do it. Go ahead. Triff, Geek W, Poggers, Pog, Yep, Dicks, Yep, Dicks, Yes, that's dual. Sure, man. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Um, during the main phase, quick effect, you can target an effect monster your opponent controls. Take damage equal to its attack, and if you did take damage, return it to the hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish two or more Link monsters from your grave, whose combined Link ratings equal exactly four. Special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use one Bengal Lance for the Resurgent effect per turn. That's not that's not awful, honestly. If, if only it didn't require plant monsters. But Plants, the best deck, let's go. Yeah, really. Uh, binary um, binary yeah. Blader. Sunvine Crossbreed. Fujin Mahitotsu and Bufo. 
so so correct me if I'm wrong. Is there means there's no chance for a Starlight Rare now, or is there still a chance? There is technically a chance, I believe. Technically. Yeah. So so now we're uh, now we're looking out for Starlight Black Rose. Starlight really Black don't. Rose Copium. That's three hundred dollars. Listen, Listen uh, if, if, if I pull that, I can I can get more booster boxes, Copium. Um, anyway, <laughs> DDD, <laughs> DDD Maxwell, Dogmatic Ritual. I meet you. Hey, I have a playset. That's pretty sweet. Um, ya, ya Mori, ya Mori Mori, Line of the Light Charmer, but it's not the Starlight. Unfortunate. It's the com. It's the it, it, it's, it's super rare. Yeah. So how yeah. so, yeah, so how how much does this how much does this one go for? One dollar? Sweet. Sweet. Um singular American dollar. Two monsters, including a light monster. You can target one light monster in your opponent's graveyard special summon it to your zone this card points to. If this link summoned card is destroyed by battle or is destroyed by an opponent's card while well, uh, card effect while in its owner's monster zone, you can add one light monster with fifteen hundred or less defense from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect of line of the light charmer. Oh hold the phone. Target yeah, she's good. Um, she's, she's, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yo, can we steal this, our opponent's Ed Liches? If this Link Summon card is a strip of Eldritch... Yeah, it does. Because Eldritch is a light monster. This is a perfect counter to Eldritches. Yeah, just steal it. Add Buy one Eldritch. light monster with 1,500 or less defense. Huh! You know what? This, uh... I mean... Mm, I, I was about to. I mean, this uh, this could replace one of my hippo shenanigans and cyber angels. So, lol. I was about to say you should do that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, binary blader, sunva. Oh, binary blader, sunvine crossbreed, Bujima Mahitotsu, bufo. That, that it's it's happened again. It's the same thing. What the? Fuck? Unfortunate. What Our the fuck? These Thank are you, these are badly packed. Man, I wish I could have. I need to get my public box one day and just like open it. It's it's yeah. fun, you know. Even if even if it's been overall kind of disappointing, with I think two exceptions, um, Yamori Mori, Spring Ann's brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Fifth Scrap Raptor, let's go! Solid. And S Force Edge Razor. No idea what this is. Each of your opponent's monsters in the same column as one of your S Force monsters cannot be used as material for the Link Summon of a Link Three or higher monster. Oh God! Um, if this card is normal or special summon, you can special summon one S Force monster from your hand in attack position. Except S Force Edge Razor. It's not Diviner. No, it's it's not Diviner. That's that's re <laughs> that's that's really that's uh that's really what it is. Wait, Luke, is that you? Yes, it is. Oh shit! I already pulled. I already, I already pulled my secret rares. None of them were diviner. What were they? Uh, they were. You're gonna love it. Uh, we is have one of them dark honest. No, one of them, uh, one of them is not dark honest. Some war rock. We have some war rock. We have Bengalancer the Resurgent, and War Rock. Like I think someone else. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got the yeah, war, war Rock secret rare. War so War Rock Meteor Dragon. Uh, so I pulled Dark Honest with my box, and the Amazement, uh, the, the, the $24 big, big Amazement card. Okay. Oh, so, uh, Ar Arlequino? Yes. Yes. Uh, Ar Arlequino, yes. That's the one. Hot diggity. Right. Right. It is. It's a dumb card, too. Oh, uh, yeah, just equip, pop. Lovely. Yeah. Yep. So we got Clock Arc, Judge of the Ice Barrier, Spring Ann's Booty, and Star Mine. I got, I, I got four star mines, dude. Yeah, say like I th I think I've gotten three or four. Okay. Hey, I'm surprised. Twenty four cards and then get the single of I the think? purple sage. Twenty three. I'm Wolfie. Second to last yeah, pack. Second to last pack. Starlight rare, still possible. Copium. Uh, I don't think <laughs> so. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's uh, it, like Starlight Secret Rare is gonna be is would be one of them. Oh really? I I, I thought Starlight's gonna replace the Secret Rare. Mm, yeah. So so what my point is is if you got two secrets, you're not getting a Starlight. Oh, sick. Yeah. Anyway, Spring Ends Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Sixth Scrap Raptor. 
I did, I did, I did. So many of those myself too. W Poggers Pog updates. This is not fun. Sun Avalon Daphne. Uh, okay. what the fuck? Riliona, Rilo- the wondrous Magistus witch wardrobe. I Yo, I'll take, dude. I'll take that off of you right now. Two level four spellcaster monsters with different attributes. Hello, that's specific. You can detach one material from this card, special summon one Magistus monster from your deck. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Magistus monsters. While this card is equipped to a monster, you can target th- the one effect monster your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of this turn. That is Hard- worth a whopping one dollar. Solid. Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely pay for a dollar for that. Clock Arc, Judge of the Ice Barrier, Spring Ends Booty, Star Mine. Again, I'm pretty sure the last, those last four cards were exactly the same as, as like previous packs. Last pack, last pack. Slap it. Come on. Oh, right, right, storm. Could you get that Slam it on the good. table. Oh, ah. The the pack. There we go. <laughs> A certain wait, dominance. Wait, <laughs> wait, Wolfie. There's still a chance. Get the live twin. Let's go for us, please. Okay. Oh, Hashtag no promises. Oh. Hashtag copium. Has uh, uh son place? Avalon Daphne. Hey, we <laughs> we got a playset of Don Mari Adignister. I got those too. You only play one. S Force Dog Tag, Starry Night Seal. Someone. The last rare is. Uh-oh. Proof of proofless. I'm what the fuck? <laughs> if you oh, control, uh, I, I got this before. It, it is worth a whopping seventeen cents. Oh my god! If you control no special summon monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of proof of proofless once per turn. If this card is a normal or special summon, you can. Immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one monster. So it's monarch support. Uh, yep. Do me a oh, favor. Yes. Uh, when you're done with this last pack, uh, I want to oh, uh, tell me what the War Rock name is again. I want to look up the price. Sure. It's the the War Rock Meteor Ragon. That's what I thought. Uh, That's like... Meteor Ragon is worth two dollars and fifty five cents. Sick. Uh, <laughs> oh, I must be thinking. So okay. what was the other uh, secret rare? Secret rare oh, is. Bengalancer the Resurgent. Uh, spell the beginning for me. Uh, B E N G H A L. Okay. Uh, it is worth a dollar thirty-eight. Great. Sorry, buddy. All right, uh, fam. Uh, and then what was your um your ultras? My ultras were Riliona, the uh, the Riliona, the wondrous Magistus witch wardrobe. Right, a dollar. Cool. Uh, the ultras, War Rock Dignity, because Konami really wants me to play War Rocks. Uh, that one. Like sixteen cents. Seventy six cents. Oh. Uh, uh, I did pull, I did pull Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I don't remember that's... if that's worth much, but I know it's not a bad card. That oh, one much. was a whopping 77 cents. Oh my god. Yeah. The ultras in this set are not great as far as price. And then, Amazement Attendant Comica. Oh, I want that! Well, shit. L- LOL. Yeah, amazements are like the highest price shit. Uh, that one's it's worth two dollars and fifty cents. Oh god. So Comica, so in the amazement deck that I was looking up earlier, I'm not gonna say who is the YouTuber. Um, Team Samurai. Yes. <laughs> yes uh, Comica and Al Pino are the only monsters. It's six monsters in the entire deck. Oh jeez. Yep, oh, so, yeah, there you go. You just play a shit ton of traps, cross your fingers, and so. It, you want to know something insane about Alakino? It's basically, hey, uh... Oh, by the way, yeah. Luke, Luke, I also I also pulled a uh, Bear Brum. That one's actually not bad. What, what, what's the, um, what's the, the beginning of the name? Uh, Tri Brigade Bear Brum. The Tri Brigade. Uh, it's the one that searches Revolt. It's probably the best thing of the set. Minus the uh, uh, Diviner in the new beta. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's 50 cents. <laughs> God, I what the fuck? Yeah. 
it was, it was like the most it was like the most hyped super rare in this set. What the fuck? It's a super rare. That's the problem. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, this man spent over seventy dollars on this box and made back almost negative forty dollars. Let's I, go. I got uh negative thirty after everything. I did the math. Seven five passes. <sighs> All right. Well. Well, Tom, uh, uh, Tom, you get three scrap raptors, so at least there's that. Dark and... Honest went up to uh, to nine dollars. Yeah. What the fuck? Dark Honest is nine dollars. It was seven fifty earlier today. Bad. What the? Who's, who's playing Dark Honest? That's it. I need to check my Twitch streams. This isn't right. That that is amazing. You, you, if you sell it now. I don't you have, have to understand. It's I have. It's dark not dark about honest. anybody actually. Nobody's actually playing dark honest. The whole appeal is that it's a dark, edgy recoloring of a classic card. That's what <sighs> it is. That's so all people care. It's so dark. stupid. Anyway, so yeah. I mean, dark is a great yeah, attribute. That's good. Dark is Wolfie, the your best 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 buy three diviner. It's going to be way cheaper. Yep. I mean, the best attribute in the game is divine beast. That's 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 Divine not, that's not an attribute. That, that's attribute. That's a, that's a type. Divine is divine is the attribute. Divine, divine is the attribute. Anyway, anyway, uh, this pack this pack opening was hilariously unsuccessful. I hate everything, and um, we'll uh, God, uh, next next time next time next time, I, next time I do this, someone better pay for the booster box. <laughs> Uh, I'll pay for the Zexal support and the Magistic. <laughs> no, it, blame Konami because 10 secret rare slots in an entire set is just too many. Yeah. It will be yeah, six. Like six. Well, and, and, I'll pay up to draw. four. Anyway, <laughs> until next time, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want me if you want me to be miserable for the rest of my life. <laughs>